The government has left no stone unturned as far as the beautification of the city is concerned ahead of the G20. From wall art to wall paintings, what have you, the city has been transformed over the last week. But that's not all. There's also a blanket of security cover on New Delhi ahead of the G20 summit. All the highlights in our next report. The moment you step out of New Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport, you get to see this. Fountains and beautification work line the roads on either sides, ensuring a visual treat for heads of state and delegates entering the country's capital for the G20 summit. Roundabouts and roads leading up to the main venue have all been spruced up with fountains and sculptures. Underpasses and flyovers are painted with scenes from the Ramayana, famous Indian icons and personalities. A special G20 park has also been created where sculptures of animals from member nations have been created from scrap. Here's another look at the revamped Indian capital. Close to 1,200 backlit boards, 600 trees, lighting installations and numerous illumination components for sculptures, buildings, fountains and roads have been arranged to light New Delhi up in style for the two-day summit. Let's tell you about some monkey business in India's capital. To tackle the city's persistent monkey problem, officials are taking an unexpected approach. As a creative deterrent, life-size cutouts of langur monkeys have been strategically placed across the city, with plans to relocate them periodically to maintain their effectiveness. This unconventional tactic aims to dissuade mischievous macaques from causing unwanted commotion during the high-profile event. And now, a look at the city's beefed-up security. 130,000 security personnel, including the 80,000 strong Delhi police, will be on alert through the two days of the summit. The Indian military has deployed anti-drone system to prevent any aerial threat. About 400 firefighters will also be on call. The fire service department is embracing cutting-edge technology to fortify its mission of ensuring utmost safety of delegates at the G20 summit. And with that, it's a wrap on Inside South Asia's special edition on G20. From the whole team, thanks for watching. Goodbye.